Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here with KB Trainings. Today I'm coming with a new video. You know that I have a 40 gate ADD here in my home network. I showed you in the last couple of videos how I did the basic configurations on it and uh, how I created all kinds of things on it. A 40 gate is an enterprise grade firewall. So it has a lot of options that you need to use and you need to know how to configure. So today we're going to talk about IPsec VPN. So I'm going to create, I'm going to configure the 40 gate to be able to create an IPsec VPN tunnel from anywhere in the world. So how is that very important? For example, if I go to Africa and uh, most of the time when you are away, if I'm outside of the US, some banks or some website are detecting the IP and they cannot allow me to have access to my bank account, for example, if I'm launching that connection from Africa. So one way to go around it is to have a VPN tunnel. So if I'm in Africa, for example, I can create a VPN tunnel to my home network and then um, access the bank's website from my home. So the bank will see my home's IP. So you use the internet to drive your traffic from wherever you are in the world to your location, which in this case is my home. And then everything will be launched from this home and it's just a very secure way to do it. And one of the advantages is that when I have a VPN tunnel, I can just bring this MacBook with me. This is my main um, laptop that I carry everywhere. So if I have this, I don't have to carry a lot. I just need to create a VPN tunnel and then I have access to all the resources that I have inside. I have access to my servers, I have access to my files, I have access to my main computer, which is um, on my, in my office on my desk. So have access to pretty much everything as if I was home and that's the advantage. So if you don't know what the VPN is, if you are still struggling understanding exactly what it is or the concept or everything, you should take a class like the CCNA. I'm providing a CCNA class on kbtrainings.com forward slash CCNA. If you are interested, go there. I'm going from zero to engineer. Of course, here on KB Trainings, I share that with you. So that will teach you the basic and the concept of VPN and you should be able to be on the same frequency with me when I'm talking of things like this. So without further ado, let's get started and we're just gonna get comfortable. If you are at home, just sit tight and me here, I usually take the position that I like, you know, I usually sit like this and I pull my laptop like that. And this is it, we're gonna configure, I'm gonna show you all the steps and everything is available on online on the internet. Fortinet also does a good job in terms of documentation. You should be good if you don't understand anything, just look it up. That's how you should be pretty much on anything. As I told you in my last video, as an engineer, you should be able to find solution. You should be able to go where the knowledge is. Let's get started quickly. So here I launched an SSH session to this firewall I'm in right now. And this is the GUI um, access that I have to the same firewall. Um, some configurations will be done using the CLI and some other configurations will be doing uh, will be done at the GUI level. So for the CLI, we need to create first a user. We need to create a user for our VPN. In my instance, I'm using a local user. So it's a user that's stored on the firewall. I don't use any external authentication server. So I use my firewall for now for authentication. We're also going to create a user group. And after that, then we are going to come here on the GUI and use the wizard to create the VPN. And then uh, from there, we're gonna add some policies to be able to, um, to allow the traffic. And I'm going to use my phone to test exactly if it's working or not, because I can download the clients on the phone and try to build a tunnel from my phone to the firewall. So to start, I'm going to create a user. I'm going to do config user local. And I'll create a user. The first user is going to be user one um set type password and then i'm going to do set password user one um pass user one pass that's the password for the user one and that's it that's all we need to configure for the user one and then now we need to create a user group config um user group and um, I'm going to create a first one, edit. Uh, the first one will be VPN users. Oh no, mate. I put, oh, why did I do that? So let me, let me delete it. So I do next and then we'll do delete. All right, it's gone. So we, I want to do VPN users with an S and click enter. And then what I'm going to do next is set 
set group type i'm going to say firewall and uh, set member i'm going to add one member which is my user one set member user one i think that's the name yeah user one so user one is the member of this group and that's it i do end and if we come back in our firewall and we go under user we're going to see that under user definition we have the user one that i just created and under user groups we have vpn users that i also created with user one being a member of vpn users so the next step from here I'm going to go under VPN and click on IPsec wizard. So IPsec VPN wizard, this is the VPN that we're going to create. And I'm going to name it um, home, home VPN. And this is going to be a remote access. I can choose site to site if I want to connect two sites. Like if I had the same firewall at a different location, which will happen by the way, um, I will have a firewall that I'm going to be traveling with. <laughs> so if I have the same device ever, um, anywhere in the world, I can create a site to site. But in this case is a remote access. I'm going to use a client based um, a VPN. So I'm going to use the 40 client. Of course, uh, if you have a Cisco uh, client, you can use Cisco here. But in my case, I'm going to be using 40 client. And I'll click on next. It's asking me for the incoming interface. The incoming interface will be when one and what type of authentication i want do i need a signature or do i use a pre-share key i'm going to use a pre-share key and we'll make it very easy oh by the way let me write down everything that i did so the user was user one and password was user one i forgot password user one pass okay all right, and the pre-share key is going to be KB trainings. Okay, so we're going to use a pre-share key. I can just grab the KB trainings here just to make sure it's that same thing that I put in here. Uh, I can take a look. Okay, what is the user group that I want to use? I want to use VPN users. And then I'll click on next. And here it's asking me what's the local interface that I want to associate with the VPN tunnel. It's going to be uh, going to my home um, home interface. And uh, what is the local address layout? We just take home subnet. What is the IP range that I want to use for the clients from the outside? So I will be taking 162. 168.254.240.192 that 168 that 254 that's 254 okay so i'm going to use no let me just stay 250 because i won't have many clients connected at the same time so i just have four ips available for the outside subnet mask i can leave it like this there is no problem for the dns it's going to use the the system's dns and enable ipsec uh split tunnel no i don't want to because i want all the traffic uh, from this tunnel to go through the 40 gate so that it's going to to go through all the policies and everything that I'm going to create for security. Um, hello endpoint registration we can leave it like that and then I do next. So here we need to configure some last options. Um, so the password can be saved. Auto connect no. Always up. Um, do I want to send keep alive? Um, maybe not and that's it. I'm going to hit create all right, so our IPsec VPN tunnel configuration is done. The address range is going to be home VPN um, underscore range. And there was a policy that was created for it. And if we go under our interfaces, this is the main interface, which is the, the WAN one. And you can see right below it, we have our home VPN tunnel interface that's created here automatically for us. And if we go under IPv4 policies, you can see that we have a policy that's created. Where is it? Yep, it's right here. It says home network to home. So home network has access to, to our home subnet, but we also need some other policies. For example, we need to allow home VPN to go to the internet, to go to the outside. We also have to allow home VPN 
to um, to go to the lab network because some of my devices are in my lab network. I think I can do it right now, or maybe we can go. Yeah, before going to the phone and trying. Yeah, let, let's go to the phone. We're gonna do that actually. So I'm on my phone here. Uh, I'm looking up uh, 40 clients because I already have it on my phone. It's right here. When I open it, I can create a new VPN tunnel here. So I, I click on new VPN. What's the name for it? I'm just going to name it home network. Okay. What type of VPN is it? Is it an SSL VPN or IPsec? So it's an IPsec. I click on create. And uh, here I'm going to do some configurations. fg.bisuku.net. So that's going to be my home IP. And um, authentication method, pre-shared key, that's correct. And here I need to put the pre-shared key. And it is KB, KB training. Just make sure it's typed correctly. And I think that's pretty much it. Everything else can stay the same. Local ID, I don't have to. If I go back and click on connect, it's asking me for the username user one, password, user one, pass, and click on login. It's trying to connect. All right, the session is launched. You can see that um, it just started. The remote IP is here. The local IP is the 250. And uh, right now the tunnel is built, but let's see if we can do something, okay? If I come on here and go under monitor and monitor IPsec, you can see that I have one tunnel built going outside. I have received this, I have sent this, and it's currently up. So one thing that I would like to try is log into one of my server in the lab, which is the 10.0.0.22. I don't think I will have access to it because I don't have, I don't have um, any type of, um, I don't have, I don't have, I don't, I don't have any type of policy allowing that to happen because this is in lab network. We're going to add that later on. So what I can try is log to my, I can log into my access point. Let's see. Yep, I have the login page. So I can access this access point because it's in my home network. Let's see if I have access to the internet. Yep, you see, I don't have access to the internet. The Netgear is my access point right now. I have access to it, but I don't have access to the internet. So that's where we come in our firewall and make sure we have a policy that's allowing the traffic to go in our lab network and also go to the internet from our FortiGate. So I go under IPv4 and I click on, I click on, can I duplicate something here? No, I don't have to duplicate. I click on new and I will do, this is, our, this one I will name it VPN to internet. Okay. Incoming interface, it's going to be home VPN, outgoing interface, when one source source ip anything uh, but usually i can just do okay let me just take home vpn range and destination all schedule always service everything it's authorized not is authorized and we just click on okay so once you do this let's come back to our phone oh right away the phone is now connected and you can see the Google page is loading here. But now, again, one more thing that we have to do is allow the VPN to get to our lab network. So we're going to do next uh, VPN to lab. That's the new policy that we're going to create. Um, incoming interface VPN, income, outgoing interface lab, source um yep home vpn destination is going to be all 
or maybe yeah lab subnet Let, let's be very specific just for security services all the services and we're going to accept it and i click on ok so with this if i go on my phone and do one okay 10.0.0.22 boom i have the login page okay yep that's it guys so i just did it i have now my vpn clients on my phone and i have my fortigate configured to accept my clients all right that's it for the video thank you for watching and if you like what i do please like the video and subscribe to this channel and if you are um, interested in the ccna go on kbtrains.com i also have the encore page where i put the videos as well get there sign up on the website and uh, let's just be in this together thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one this is gi and bye